Hello everyone. In this presentation, I will give you an introduction to SAS count function. So SAS count function actually has uh, three uh, different functions. One is to count the substring, uh, which is basically called count. And the second one is count C, uh, this is count the character. The last one is count W, uh, this is count the, uh, the word. So let's take a look at uh, one example. So on line number 16, uh, it's count the address that you can see above. For example, on line number four, uh, we have you know 301 from Street uh, Toronto. And when you do a count uh, for the letter O, so you can see in the address, there's an O here uh, in, the, uh, in the word front, and there's uh, three O's here in the word Toronto. And there's also another O here, which is uppercase, uh, it's in the Ontario ON, right? So, but this is case sensitive uh, by default. So this lowercase O will only match the first four uh, in the uh, in the string. So this will give return number four. And you can uh, look at number 17, it try to match the substring, the uh, ON. So in the, you can see in the front again, you have ON here and the same thing in Toronto. Uh, you have a on so this will return two. so you can see the result in the next page uh, you have four here and you have a two so the count uh, basically is used to count the the substring uh, there are also also other two other functions uh, one is called count c uh, this is count the characters and the last one will be uh, count uh, w count word so let's take a look at that one as well uh, so you can see again on line number 16 uh, this is still the count uh, function. Uh, now we have uh, the third parameter, basically it's called a modifier. So when you put an I here, uh, actually making the, uh, the count case insensitive. So you count the same thing, but if you put an I, so this ON will match the ON in the front, and also the ON in Toronto, and also the Ontario, because it's case, um, case insensitive. The I make case insensitive, so this will return Three. Uh, if we look at num line number seventeen, uh, it looks similar to the count. Uh, the only difference is that is the the function has uh, one actual letter called called a C. So this will not count the substring. Actually, will count the character O and the N. So basically, what it does is uh, you know, check this line. For example, line number four. How many O's are there? And how many N's are there? So and then add them together. Uh, again, the I make uh, case um, insensitive. Uh, if you want to be case sensitive, you can remove the I. Remove the I. Uh, if you look at number eighteen, uh, basically same function, but you have a, you add another modifier which is called a V. So what the V does is uh, is count all the characters uh, except or O or, or, or N. Uh, or O N, okay. So that will um. So I'm not gonna count that as a, a quite many characters like that, right? So that's the count character, count the character, and the last part is the count word. Count the word. You can put a delimiter if you want, and if you put a delimiter, basically they will treat, uh, you know, this whole thing as one word, right? Anything between the uh, delimiter, uh, basically in this case is a comma as a word, right? If you don't use a delimiter and you want to go by the default. And uh, so they will break down by those default delimiters. You can see here you have blank, uh, you have dollar sign and percent percent, uh, you know the percent sign. And uh, so that will uh, that that will use that will be used as a delimiter, right? So that's a, that's a count word function. Uh, but there are quite many options here, uh, quite many options here. So you can see from this page uh, is a count um, character. Uh, what we use actually here is the I, we ignore the case, and we also use the, uh, the what's that we use? We use the V, uh, which is called the characters that's not in the list, right? So, but there are many other options. Uh, you are welcome to try uh, some of them if you are interested. And uh, again, for count word, uh, you have options as well. But you notice that there is no option called the V because in V, uh, it's basically count anything other than that wor word if that if there's an option like that right so there's no point to do that that only apply to the uh, to the count C basically when you count the characters right so um, 
So I just, you know, so here I just want to show you that there are uh, many more options than just uh, what you see there as I or V or some other options. So there, are, there are many of them, uh, and you are uh, welcome to try them. So at the last part, um, I want to uh, show you an example uh, how this part can be used um, can be used at work. So uh, let me just tell you a little story. Uh, so when you do, uh, when I was working uh, in a bank, uh, most of my examples are come from the bank. Uh, as I work in the banks, right? So when we use SAS, right, to read uh, data, uh, let's say from Oracle, from Oracle or any any other database, right? So what we used to uh, do is we use something called a SQL path through. Uh, maybe I'll give you another um, lecture on the SQL path through, pass. Oh, sorry, I forgot the word pass. Uh, let's say pass through, pass through. Okay, so you use a SQL pass through. Uh, you can also use SAS access, but you know most most of us actually use SQL pass through. What well, SQL pass through is that you send uh, whatever the code right to Oracle, and then you get the data back. Uh, the 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 thing you pass to the Oracle basically is SQL statement, but can be specific to Oracle. For example, one of them we send. Uh, uh, in the SQL statement could be like to car when you try to convert a date or something to character, right? So that's called to car. And that's actually specific to Oracle. Uh, when we try to change from Oracle to SQL Server, uh, to SQL Server, what we need to do is to find out uh, how many functions actually uh, specific to Oracle. So we know how much effort we need to make uh, either uh, create a script or do that manually and uh, to change this Oracle specific SQL to the SQL server SQL. For example, to car, uh, most likely will change to a convert function uh, because SQL server doesn't have a convert function, uh, doesn't have a convert function. So we can use a SAS program to scan, use this, write another SAS program to scan a SAS program and to find out how many two cars are in there so we can do an estimate of how much effort we need to do to do the conversion but that's two cars is one of the example there are many other things we are looking into uh, including how to change the lib names and functions and some other variables when we do the database conversion so when you use a SAS program to read a SAS program uh, you can think about it, uh, how to read it, uh, because uh, while I was doing um, uh, you know, SAS uh, lectures, many students say, okay, you can read it use with SAT, uh, which is incorrect. Uh, you, you can use this incorrect. The right way to read a SAS file or any other file, because SAS file basically use .sas, right? So .sas uh, is using an in-file statement, uh, definitely not SAS statement. The SAS statement is used to read the data set, the SAS data set, but not to read the SAS program. So in this case, I'm reading a SAS program. So let's go back to our presentation. Uh, so this is, uh, I didn't run the code uh, because it was really, that happened many years ago. Uh, so I'm using a file name statement and uh, put uh, just whatever, just the, uh, just the name here and then put a, put a path. Uh, I, just, I just made this up. Let's say this program is called sas underscore oracle dot sas, right? So I'm just making a file name, um, file reference to it. And then here I say I'm going to read. Uh, I'm going to read the SAS program. I uh, so try to make it very long. Uh, I'm, I'm not even sure this is long enough because some program can be really long. And then you try to retain the te text because what I want to do is I want to read every line of this program right into one big string, uh, one big string. And then I can do the count. Uh, and then I start reading the, restart reading the data. Uh, and then when I reach, uh, uh, when I read every line, I try to concatenate that and there's you know that there's a retain statement so all the data actually uh, actually getting uh, contained um, so I hope you can understand this program if you don't let me know and then when it's reached to the end uh, basically what I set here as last uh, you don't have to say set here as last this is a variable uh, if it's at the last line it's basically finish reading the data and then you can try to count it to see how many two card there uh, in the string uh, alternatively you can write this part right to a um, to maybe a Markov variable uh, 
uh, you can use the simput uh, to write to a Markov variable, and you can use the Markov functions to do more analysis. Um, so I hope uh, this give you uh, an example on how you use the count uh, count work like in the at work at work, right? So. I uh, hope you learned something useful uh, from this. Uh, it's, again, it's very simple. Basically, it's three functions. You have count, again, to count the substring. And you have count C and to count the characters and count W and to count the word. Um, I hope you learned something new today. And uh, thank you for uh, thank you for watching.